Welcome back to Rocket City. Not only do we have the best offense in college football, we also have our quarterback Jeff Eaton on the Heisman list. We probably only have the best offense in college football because we have the worst defense in college football. And we're so bad that like, I don't think there's a lot of hope for it. So I think I wanna get weird in this episode. So much so that I am adding Samuel Wusu as a cornerback. Obviously, Samuel Wusu is not a great defensive player. He only has 60-man coverage and 60-zone coverage. But I'll try to use him and make some plays with him. It's all about having fun, and it's not like we're going to give up more points if we had somebody else in that spot. Number one passing offense versus the number two passing defense in the country. Certainly should make for an interesting battle. Here we are in Atlanta to play Georgia State, UGF's former rival. I'm not necessarily sure if UGF exists in this universe, but it's still fun to think about. We are sitting at the top of the Sun Belt currently. We've been on a tear, five and one. There's only one other team with three wins, but we definitely have some breathing room now. Don't want to blow it here, so let's get the win. I must say I haven't played this game in a few weeks, so if I don't play well, I'm just rusty. My offensive line is not as good as I hoped. Oh, that's a little off target there. That was supposed to go to the post route on the opposite side of the field. In addition to playing defense, I'm actually having Samuel Wusu punt for us today. Just because he was so good at it last year, why not? Kid loves kicking balls. Not a great one, but it hit off the guy. Oh, I don't know who has the football. Okay, Georgia State got it. I th the guy forgot to use his hands. Jovin Hall just ran straight over the ball. Will he throw it? He throws it across the middle. Veggie Smith lights him up. Bring him down. Takes a couple tacklers, doesn't it? Oh, look at those blocks up front. That left tackle just... That left tackle just flattened us. Can we get there? And the wall does not hold. Georgia State scores here on their first possession. I don't see it. Got to roll out. Good quick step from Jeff Eaton. And he's got a big game. Such an epic weapon with Jeff Eaton. Look at that. Guy's collapsing on his face. He just accelerates immediately. Such a valuable weapon. He's getting excited because he breaks the school record for rushing yards in a season. We got guys in my face already. Let's just hit this fullback. And I want to see you bulldoze some people. I love it when fullbacks get involved. Hey, those are good blocks right there. Giving us five yards just with a push. Josh Merrill beat him, but man, their blitz worked. The safety got through. We'll send you right there. Nice grab, and that actually will get us the first down. Mm, just rolling out. I took too long to make a read. Let's not force that. Just take nothing. I'd rather take zero yards than give the ball to the other team. I see you, Josh Merrill. I think you beat your man. And he makes a great grab, just like he's been doing all year long. That connection has been lethal for the Moon Mint. And that breaks his school record for receiving touchdowns in a career. Already more touchdowns than a Wusu. What a player we got in Josh Merrill. Running backs got it. And we're there. Looks like a screen pass. Does he have him? A Wusu, he can't make the tackle. It's all right, he plays offense, but he's got backup, and that's gonna be fourth down. Oh, just got hit from both angles. Oh no, we got a black screen for Jeff Eaton. We got two trainers on the field. Coming in to back him up is Clinton Charles. He's about as exciting as doing your taxes. Oh, what a throw from Clinton Charles here on the post and a great grab from Josh Merrill. Pressure in his face too. Look, he was taking a hit while he threw that. That's amazing. Good throw, buddy. Maybe I roasted you a little too early, Clinton. Lead the charge, buddy. There you go. Oh, cutting inside and that'll be a first down. Everybody's holding it. It's one of the best blocks today. Mild concussion. He's out for the entire game. Well, that stinks. It's really going to hurt his Heisman potential. Oh, no. Way to fall forward. Short yardage situations. You got to trust in your fullback. It's just so much fun to do it. Look at him go. He's a tank. Seven yards for the big man. Blocker's in position and not the best one from Lonnie Clayton. Oh, he is wide open. 
And he takes it through the hit. Oh, we got blocks now. Terrell's having a big game thanks to the O-line stepping it up. Got a Wusu doing a little jet sweep. And he pushes his way for the first down. We're going Wildcat on this one. Can we get the blocks? Nice one from the fullback. I don't think this is going to work. We're trying to go sneaky with the pass. Can he hit him? Lonnie Clayton, touchdown from the running back. We bamboozled him. I didn't think it would work. Lonnie Clayton beating his man as he always does in a great throw from Terrell. No quarterback, no problem for this offense. Anthony Burks is a dynamic offensive coordinator. He can get it done for his team. It's going short again. I mean, we're protecting the top today. It's been pretty good. He's got a man across the middle. Dixon Butts got beat. Jason Hudgens there to pull him down. Coming for him. Just for you, Jason Hudgens. Saving the touchdown. Oh, running play. And we're there. I'm not sure why they did that. I guess they were trying to be sneaky. Oh, to the corner. And he got it. Great throw. Didn't think he would go over the top like that. Thought we had safety hill back there. Sounds like we got ourselves a good game here. Screen passes away. Do we have guys? Cutting pack around. Nice job, Terrell. Maybe I should have just gone straight out of bounds, but I wanted the home run. I think we got J.R. Cotton across the middle, and he drops it, and it's picked off the tip. Josh Merrill should be able to track him down. We need some help, though. And we bring him down with the time hitting zero. That's tough. If he would have caught that, we could have got a field goal. It would have been in the lead, but alas... We're tied going into the locker rooms. We got ourselves a fun football game here. We don't have our star QB in Jeff Eaton, so who knows what this second half holds. But I know what halftime holds. It's our sponsor, HelloFresh. When he's not throwing touchdowns on the field, of course we got Chef Jeff cooking it up in the kitchen. And his favorite way to do that is with HelloFresh. But as you can imagine, a lot of his time goes on to the football field. So quick, easy, and affordable meals from HelloFresh are perfect for Chef Jeff. HelloFresh offers a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20-minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. Another major benefit is not having to go to the grocery store. Because those trips take way too long, an average of 45 minutes. Nobody got time for that. And having fresh pre-portioned ingredients delivered directly to your door is a huge relief. And the meals are fantastic too. They've got more five-star reviews than any other meal kit, so you know you'll be getting something delicious. And in my own personal life, I find that HelloFresh makes eating healthy easier. My girlfriend is celiac, so she can't have gluten. And this is an easy accommodation for HelloFresh because they've got many options for dietary restrictions. It's a complete breeze. Like, you can sort by different diets and all those restrictions to make sure you get exactly what you need. The meal you see me eating today is the Salmon and creamy Dijon chive sauce. Very delicious. So be like Chef Jeff. Get some HelloFresh today. Use code NTE16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. That's a whole lot. I'll say it again. Use code NTE16 for up to 16 free meals, three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring Chef Jeff and today's video. Oh my goodness. That guy just exploded from the backfield. Need help. Owusu tracking him down. And he gets his ankles. There we go, Amari Jackson getting a TFL. Pitches that out quickly, and we got him wrapped up immediately. Oh, screen pass. Somebody get there. Just a yard short. That one was close. I like it. They're going to stay on the field. Definitely going to make this game more interesting. And Owusu with another tackle. Going short and no chance. We're definitely a bend and always break kind of defense. Oh, Clinton. Rain it in, son. I mean, they might be expecting this to happen, but got to go fullback. And they, yep, I guess correctly. They knew it was coming. Oh, Clinton just scrubbed it up. Probably should have done just slants or something. Called the wrong play. We're certainly missing Jeff Eaton. He made it look so easy. Clinton is just not him. Our defense is definitely still the same. Look at those missed tackles. We know he's going to pitch it. Got to get out there, and he gets the first anyway. We got ourselves another injury. Amari Jackson needs to be helped up. We got ourselves a black screen, too. 
Gotta get there quicker, lads. We sandwiched him and this man still caught the football. And we get it. Outlaw with a huge play on the edge. They're going up the middle and we're just too weak. Rip the fullback, slips through. That's supposed to be my thing. Amari Jackson, Bruce Sternum, he's out for the game as well. Nice block from 61. Good spin move. And Terrell nearly gets a first down, I like that. Meet him on the edge. Josh Merrill not strong enough to push him away. Oh, Clinton's rolling out. I don't know if he's got the speed for anything here. But let's just take it what he can do. Look at Clinton go. I don't know what about him, but Clinton gives off big Kirk Cousins energy. Need to throw the fo football down the field a little bit more. Or just take what they give us, and that'll be this first down. They got the pressure coming at us. I can't really make that throw with pressure in my face. Still going. All right, we got to stay in this hurry up. We only got six minutes to go. I don't know if I had him or not. Is somebody going to get open? Clinton. He just made it. Let's go. Nice moves. That's not good. We got to score. Oh, they all got through. We got to run my favorite goal line play, and that's Lonnie Clayton. But I don't know if this is looking like it's going to shape up very well for us. Still going to throw it right at it. And good play from the corner. Somebody went on the line. I see a Wusu in the back of the end zone, dragging a toe. We need a leader. A Wusu is going to step up. Pitches it right away. And we swallow that up. And he's keeping this one. Eating Beaver too slow to get out there. Just push him out, save the clock. And we're going up the middle. Can we stop this? This. Got through, hit the quarterback, but they got the open man. And Carlos Willis. Woo! Is it a screen pass? He's going to the end zone. Touchdown! Man, really wish we had Jeff Eaton in this game. Really stresses me out to play offense with Clint. Oh, nearly picked. I thought a Wusu was going to break on that one. Oh, I see B open, but they just bum rushed us up the middle. Not great form using your chest to block instead of your hands. I don't think he has the arm for this. A Wusu, no, he dropped it. That is tough. And here we go. This is the game on the line. Fourth and 17, Clinton Charles. Show me you can do it, son. Need Josh Merrill to win over there. And it's not even remotely going to be a chance. He had pressure in his face. I didn't really see anyone that open anyway. I nah, just let him go. Making this scoreline look a lot worse than it actually was. Josh Merrill, and that one's money. I see it. Ryan Brown, nice grab. We're getting ourselves a touchdown. Well, if you like miracles, that's pretty much the only thing that can save us now. I don't think I kicked it far enough. And he pops right into his hands. Need a lucky pop out or something, and we don't get it. He's probably going to get that first, and that is going to be the football game. And the win streak comes to a close here. Really stinks because we were on a tear. Jeff Eaton gets a concussion. Our offense is nowhere near the same level of quality and we start to crumble. Jeff Eaton got injured very early on in the game. He was 4-7, 58 yards, a touchdown. We had to run Wildcat to get one of our touchdowns. It was successful, but Clinton Charles, he did the best he could. He's just inexperienced. He's a freshman. It's really saying something. Average of three yards per carry for our offensive line. That's pretty good. Josh Merrill continues to dominate. Five catches, 117 yards in this game. He also got himself a touchdown. So did Ryan Brown in garbage time and Samuel Owusu when we were trying to come back. Lonnie Clayton caught the touchdown pass from our running back on that Wildcat play. And oh, Eric Adams, giving up the sack that got Jeff Eaton hurt. Let's not let that happen again, buddy. On the bright side, though, we do have an upgrade for head coach Drew Morris. And I'm going to throw this in the kitchen sink. Got to get these extra points to these high profile recruits that we desperately need. Oh, that really stinks. Jeff Eaton, he got injured, so it dropped him massively in the Heisman watch. I told you that injury was going to come back to bite him. Hopefully he can stay healthy the rest of the way. Well, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Hopefully we can turn things around in the next episode. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. 
You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Tristan Stagner, Christian Take, Jack Webb, Anthony Uhas, Tyler McGlynn, Zach Harper, Timbo Slice, Jacob Jordan, Wyatt, Richard Pizer, Jason Huerta, Tyler Cracker, Matt Woodruff, Casey Knox, Austin Gazzetti, Seth Washburn, and Rosalie Jarecki.